Then, and I couldn't get my camera on fast enough. I make sure I record him coming down this time just in case he falls off it. Disappointing. I'd have got more views if you'd have fell. Look behind you. Uh. Behind the dude. Behind uh. the bloke in the red. I, uh... <laughs> I hope you come and give me my bed back. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends Dave and Tina have just turned up. Morning campus. So I'm just going to go do a bin run. I'm going to go and have a look around park. Because we're on part duty today. Lisa and Paul have gone away for the day. Because we're on part duty today. Lisa and Paul have gone away for the day. And Gareth is somewhere. Should we find out what he's doing? His solar panel's gone off the floor. It's on the roof. So I'm guessing he's round up a ladder somewhere. Ah, oh, there he is. Would you like to show everybody what you've done? No, yeah, my brackets haven't come. All oh, right. I can if you want. Just for now. So what I've done, I've put this bad boy on. 550 watts, because I've already got a 200 watt panel, which goes to my power bank, which is fine. And then over there, I've got another 200 watt, which runs a motor home. But, as I explained on many, many videos before, our power bank runs our TV, so it's not connected to the motor home. So, by not it, the TV not connected to the motor home, our motor home will last about five, six days off grid. So, if I put the TV to the motor home, it drains within two days. So that's the reason I'm doing the power bank. But on the power bank, on the 200 watt panel, it's always bringing in about 100 watts. Maybe 120, 140 watts on a max even if we're abroad, but in England it's about 100 watts. So as TV, as diesel heating and stuff like that, the power bank into the side of the motor room, which is the electric cook-up that you're on the caravan park, the motor room thinks that you're on a caravan park permanent. And we use about 160 watts with everything on. So, by putting this 505 watt panel and this will bring us in 705 watts to power bank. Now the power bank charges on the electrics main up at 1200 watts, so I know I can cope with it. So with it bringing in 700 and odd watts on a nice crap day, it's probably bringing in about 200-300 onto the power bank, so that'll power the whole motor up. Off grid for a very long time. Now if I'm abroad, I can be off-grid permanent. So I hope you understood that, because if you don't, I didn't. <laughs> but it makes sense. Basically, it's a power bank that's going to run the whole motor home, and it's going to think it's plugged into the mains electric on a caravan park or wherever that's got a hookup. So if we've got the sun, it's just going to last forever off-grid. Don't get mad. Your back tyres that deflated, it's sat on the rim. You mean it's got a punch in? It's that deflated, it's sat on the rim. Right. It's really down, have you seen it? No. Really bad. I've no. just noticed it. Puncher again. Different tyre, is it the same one? It's the same one. Yeah. It's really down though this time. It's literally sat on the rim if you look. <laughs> See, I thought it was the front one last time. That's down, down, isn't it? Well, right, used to do. That looks like someone's a tire after you've slashed it. Not that I've ever slashed anyone's tire, and that's what they look like. What a load of old shit! I'm not implying that's what somebody's done, and I'm not implying I've ever done that. But that does what? look like what a tire looks like when all air's been let out of it. No, we've been all right. We went two weird days away, and we've been here two days. Yeah, and we've it's been, been up. Yeah, it was, it was all right yesterday. It's gone down overnight. So what I'll do, I'll get pump on it, and then tomorrow we'll find out. Yes. Hey Cubes on Tour and YouTube family, if you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. Can't believe it. I just seen it while it was up there, I was like, what is that? Yeah. Right, so I'm going to go do a walk around park and check all these people are leaving that are supposed to be leaving. 
Mm. I'm on Lisa duty today. Check the bin and I've put all the rubbish in the bin that people have left in front of the bin. Not sure why they're doing that. Give these toilets a quick check while I'm in here. Toilets are all clean. Just going to do a walk around park. But I'm going to nip to my butty van first. I mean, there's no in it because I've not worked in weeks other than drinks. And I may or may not have drank a bottle and a half of Bailey's last night. And I'm not hanging, fine. But I've got a thirst that juice, tea and water is just not clearing. Right, what have you done? Tied it cables up. Yeah. So what I've got to do now is wait for my other brackets to come. And also pump up your tyre. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that now. I need um, my favourite all powers. All right, I'll go get you in. See you in 10 minutes. <laughs> So I've just connected it up and at the moment, because I edited a video last night, my power bank is at 56%. So it's going to take four hours to charge, which it is half past nine in the morning. And we've got 229 watts coming in, if you can see it there. So that's going to be charged 100% for free now. So that means we can edit another video and get it online. I'll show you a bit later on, when it's a bit later, of uh, what he does come in at. So as I will explain on roof, if you're all a bit confused, if I get my main hook-up lead, which is there, disconnect it and then get one of them little three-pin plug things, you know, the, the one that goes inside a motorhome, and then a short wire into a 240 volt which goes there with the normal household three pin plug that power bank will power the whole motor on we've been off grid for five days now and it's still off that's on that's off so it's 200 watts for the motor home is coping well it did last year for 12 months we did off grid not non-stop except Benadon, check them videos out. And my TV has got a 12 volt wire that goes down back at sea, it's under there, under there, under there, around there, around there, and just plugs into this wire in here. Which that goes on a double socket, one's for me internet, one's for double socket. But there's an empty cupboard under here, where, empty cupboard under here where fuel tank is, so all wires are ridden under here. So this just needs tidying up a bit. But now we know what's going on, and it's working, we can tidy everything up. Free power. One tyre pumped up. Right, let's see how long that lasts. 76 psi, in it? Let's have a look in a couple of days. Weather's fabulous. I'd considered going away for a few days, but um, the car's got its MOT on Wednesday. Can't even do that. I'm going to need to see what's going on with my wheel as well. But at least I'm going to get a couple of days worth of sunbathing in. <laughs> it's fantastic up. Everybody's had a fantastic bank holiday weekend. You have to let me know what you're always doing. What are you doing there, love? Cleaning my solar panels. Alright, <laughs> oh, okay. I can clean them in mums. I'm going to see how much power I can get out of this panel today. If you fall, the subscribers are going to love it. Yeah. Ooh. You silly st. <laughs> Wait, <you> fell. <laughs> Please do not swear, it's a family channel. Just beep it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be getting done off YouTube again, do I, for swearing? I know, it's disgusting, you shouldn't have foul language, Gareth, and then you won't get into trouble. Oh, well, because we said the F U C K word, even though it is in the dictionary. It's a naughty boy, you'd never catch me swearing like that. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> What's that you've got out? Oh. <laughs> Life essentials. He's just taking the rest of his beer out of his boot. He's got something else out in a bag, I don't know what that is. Don't know what he's doing. <laughs> the sound of disappointment and in his voice was amazing. Oh, you're getting your caddock out? Quick caddock cell. He's just shot on the wire on that as well, it was massive. So, we're going to nip to the shop, aren't we? First barbecue of the year. I've got some burgers and sausages anyway. Pork. But I ain't got any brickets. So I'm going to go, and I need some juice, orange juice. Because Gareth don't like some of fruits, it's too spicy for him. <laughs> Mister, he has chilli on everything. So I'm nipping to the shop, I'll be back in a minute. Are you cooking your breakfast outside, love? I am, yeah, it's lovely and warm. And you don't need to clean it up because we're going to have some burgers in that later as well. Beautiful up here today, people. Ice pop weather. I'm just waiting for my water to fill up. Doing a blow job for him while he's busy sorting the solar out. Thought I'd be a nice wife. 
I'm not doing the toilet though, that can wait till it's um, less busy. <laughs> I've never seen that like it in my life. I just watched this people come back on for the weekend. <laughs> just had a rummage in bin on my in. Well, been raiding at its finest. <laughs> what a glorious day today's been. Topped it off by Gadda cooking the tea and the Kadak. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Two chops, two burgers. Yeah, because there's only two of us. We need, so we're done. We're done. This is why I love this, because you've only got that to clean. Yeah. And everything else is just away. And it, the wind's... And Picking it, up a little bit now. Yeah, and it fits in kitchen sink, not like this big thing where you can't wash it nowhere. Mm. Wind's picking up a little bit. Yeah. Although I'm not washing that in my sink. I'll take it to the pot wash. Right? Sorry, Lisa. The wind has dropped a bit now. The wind's picked up a bit, dropped a bit. It's picked up a bit, and it's a bit cold now. So I might go sit inside for a little bit. I've sat out here all day. I think I've got sunburn on my forehead. Find out in the morning, won't I? As you can see, 501 watts coming in. Is it recorded? Yes. You sure? Yes. Right. It's been a good week now, hasn't it? I think we better insert these into one video. So, these are the Fitvilles that we reviewed. Don't forget to go check them out. But these Fitvilles are... The fantastic, comfiest shoes ever. In the world, I would say. Because these are the comfiest things I've ever done. Done. One. So, these are the golf ones. Okay. So, we did say we'd give these away. So, I have got my computer open, and my horrible assistant will point the camera at the computer. Can you see it? Golf shoes? I think so. So, we're going to pick a winner. Do you want me to go back to you or? No. So, we've got a uh, Julie Lewis. Let me just move that up because there might be something else underneath. Let's just put little uh, little eyes and all sorts. Anyway, Julie Lewis, eleven sixty four. So get in contact with us by email or Facebook. Uh, confirm who you are, and we'll get them posted to you. Well done, Julie. Oh, well done. Show in the world.